everybody, James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we are doing our first video since vacation. I'm excited about that and we're going to be tying up one of the new ties I bought on my vacation. So I did a video yesterday where I was showing some of the stuff I bought on this trip. And so I want to start today with one of the um, uh, store house name ties that I bought from a place called NYX. NYX is a, is a really nice uh, retailer of men's goods at the Fashion Square in Scottsdale, Arizona. And they turned me on to these ties and they told me a story that the uh, ties are they're handmade by five guys in Italy. So I did a little research yesterday since doing that video and actually the company that makes these is called Pompas Cesare. I, th I hope I'm saying that correct. And they're out of Como, Italy. And they do hand make scarves, ties, uh, pocket squares and other items like that and what they do is instead of uh, being like some of the main brands that just sell their own brand they sell out or they sell to uh, to individual retailers and things like that or you can buy directly from them and so this tie is made by Papa's Cesare but it's branded NYX and NYX is the name of the store that I bought it at so I, I, I'm assuming NYX makes X amount of dollars of purchase from them and gets them to brand their name but I think that's really cool uh, it's a high quality tie the silk feels great um, I mean it actually has almost I think I said yesterday almost a Brioni type feel not quite as plush as a Brioni but definitely feels nice the silk lays good lays really nice and it's definitely a well-made tie I mean I, I don't I don't see a lot of flaws in it I'm looking forward to tying it up and see how it comes together so uh, Papa's Cesare for Nick's uh, store in Scottsdale Arizona uh, handmade in Como Italy uh, now, according to the guys at NYX, when they go to tie shows, the guys from Papa's Cesare are actually making ties at the show. Like, they literally are making ties in front of people to demonstrate how they do it. So this tie may have been made in Italy, it may have been made in America, I don't know, but it's made by five Italian tailors uh, out of Como, Italy. Let's tie this thing up and see how it comes together. I'm actually really excited because I like tying brands that I'm not familiar with and giving honest reviews on them. <coughs> Excuse me. I can tell you as far as the feel of the tie, everything else, very, very nice feel. Now, judging by the thickness, probably going to have to start the tie about right here. Now, if you need help tying a tie, if you don't know how to tie the perfect full Windsor, check out the videos on my channel that say tutorial. This is not a tutorial. I'm going to tie it in front of you. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I have something from, in my throat. Come back to snow in West Virginia. Um, but you can watch my tutorials. For the purpose of this video, I'm just putting the whole outfit together and doing the tie review. So, But I do tie a full Windsor knot, which is what I call the perfect knot. Um, it'll be a full triangle. It'll be very symmetrical, and I like my ties to look very nice and neat, and I like them to have um, good symmetry to them. So let's bring this down here. Got us a perfect little triangle going there. Bring it up. We want the tip of the tie, that's this part here, to be between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. So let me see where we're at here. We are about halfway down the belt buckle, absolutely perfect. So for a new, for a new brand of tie, I'm real happy with getting that right first try. Could have tied it a little bit shorter, but I think it works out just fine. There we go. Now I'm wearing a spread collar today. So with a spread collar, it's very important that you centralize your tie. So we're going to make sure this knot is in the center. There we go. It's just like that. Boy, it came together beautifully. So um, as far as tying the tie, I, I just don't have any complaints. It looks like I did actually. It's a little bit long. We're going to retie this tie here. So uh, let me pop this back up here. Once I got it all together, it's just a little bit too long. So, and what happened is this: the silk is really malleable. So even though it feels a little thick, it pulls together tight. When your silk pulls together tight, the knot gets tighter, so it uses less of the material left over here. So let's retie this tie about this length here. That should make up the difference there. So we're gonna tie it real quick right here in front of you. I like perfection. If you don't tie your tie right the first time, tie it again. That's my rule of thumb. I think it's a privilege to wear a tie. And I want to look as good as I possibly can when wearing that tie. That's how I, that's how I look at it. Boy, I've got to tie it one more time. We're still yet long. This silk really pulls together on these ties, I gotta tell you. I don't think I've ever had a tie this plush that um, pulls together as tight. So there you go. Third attempt on a brand new brand of tie. I thought I had nailed it the first time, but I didn't. Third attempt. The problem is, as you get a little bit longer on it, the silk gets thicker. So, we got to make sure we got this thing right. I'm loving the feel of the silk, though. I got to tell you, it feels just as good as the other luxury Italian brands. 
very impressed with the silk. Let's tighten it up here. There we go, we're just past the top. That's actually much better. We're just hanging a little bit too low and <clears throat> I just don't like my ties to hang that low. Now let's readjust here. And we also got the knot a little wider. I really like that better with this spread collar. So looking good. Loving life. Plenty of silk to tuck back here. And just past the top, we can tighten up just a little bit, gets a little more slack. Beautiful. Okay, the Let's Go Starts crawl across the bottom of the screen. Sorry I had to tie it three times. It's a brand new tie to me. Never tied it before, never tied this brand, not even familiar with them. So uh, we got it three times, but look how perfect that knot is. Looks beautiful in the spread. We do it right here. The look will start scrolling across the bottom of your screen. I'm going to go through it with you right now. Today we're wearing a brown Ermerda Gilda Zinnia suit. If you watch my videos, you know it's one of my favorite suits. Fits me absolutely perfect. Brown Ermerda Gilda Zinnia suit. Um, this is their uh, high performance line. And their high performance line is a little bit lighter material. It breathes really good. So this is great for warm weather or when I'm going to be indoors a lot. Today I'm indoors the whole day. It's cold outside, so it feels a little warmer inside. So uh, uh, I wanted to wear this suit here. We're in a light blue Hugo Boss shirt uh, with a spread color. We have on a brown um, Branded Nix, but it's made by Papas Cesare out of Como, Italy. Handmade silk Italian tie. And this one is brown with like some gold chain links through it. Uh, we've got a little dimple going on there. Looking good. Got the knot looking good. Today we're wearing a dark brown Salvatore Ferragamo belt with a gold belt buckle. Pairing that with a beautiful pair of brown Bally Oxfords. On my Instagram, tie guy James Acres, check that out. You're going to see close-ups of everything, close-ups of the tie with the tags. You can see how that comes, uh, how that looks on the back and everything else. Uh, selfies of me wearing the outfit, as well as the whole outfit stay. So check out my Instagram, guys. I appreciate you guys watching my video. If you enjoyed my videos, please click subscribe and like. I am ready for work.